Report your ailments. Fit for duty. Return to your post. Hey there. Captain, Corporal Joy Pell with the Safe Crackers. It's a real honor to meet you. A real honor. She's been here ten minutes and we've already heard about your little stunt on Quest at least ten times. I don't think you'll be paying for many drinks tonight. I just did my job, that's all. Awfully modest for the head of Havoc Squad. Our other friend here is Karen. She runs with those Navy punks. But I've forgiven her for it. Karen Vondi, gunnery officer on the Brentel Star. I don't think you've saved my life yet, but it's still nice to meet you. Saving lives just comes with the territory. That's what Jogzo said. You must have a lot of crazy stories. All right, let's focus, people. Karen just got a big promotion. You two obviously have a lot to celebrate, and I have a day off for once. Recon shows eight cantinas within taxi range. We're gonna hit them all, and we're gonna hit them hard. Let's move out. 
First round's on me. <laughs> you are insane, Jaxo, you know that? You're the one who brought them over, not me. If your Navy pals can't drink a sweet little girl like me under the table, that's their problem. Hey. Hey, you know what? You <laughs> are amazing. You're an amazing woman, okay? Just totally amazing. That's very nice of you to say, Jorda. Tell you what, Jorda. My bed's over there. Why don't you go lay down for a bit, huh? I'd better call it a night myself. See you, Jaxo. It was great meeting you. I guess you'd probably better get going too, huh? I hope you had a good time. We don't nearly get enough of them in this line of work. If not for people like us, nobody would be having any good times. Yeah. Duty, honor, sacrifice. It all sounds great until you actually have to do it. Ah, oh, listen to me droning on. Philosophizing like some senile old Jedi. You'd better get out while you can. After that many rounds, I could be talking nonsense for hours. I'll see you around, Big Shot. Havoc Squad was lucky to get you, Yoon. Havoc 
Havoc is the place to be for tough challenges and big wins. Kind of, you need to keep doing quiet. Now that I'm back to let's go to my town. Go out on my side, but it's all right. It's cool. We should not turn it into canoe. How'd you come to be called Yoon? I've definitely been impressed with your work. What led you to join the army? I'm afraid I have another requisition form that requires your attention, sir. Our shipboard rations have fallen somewhat below the levels outlined in Code 18, and the Quartermaster Corps restocking estimate is currently nine weeks. As an alternative, I'd like to supplement our food stores with products from public sources. Real food, as Jorgen would say, but commanding officer approval is required. That can't hurt to mix up the menu a bit. Make it happen. I'll have us back to standard stock levels in no time. Thank you for your time, sir. Good news, sir. Garza's people decoded the first portion of those coordinates. Data points to an Imperial excavation site on Tatooine. Looks like my former XO Torv is being held there. Then let's load up and get him out of there. Ready when you are, sir. Successor, Lord Kavos has foolishly given away his position. To all who excel in the arts of death, be it known that Lord Kavos, Master of Combat, seeks a lieutenant to serve him. I seek a worthy right hand to carry out my commands across the galaxy, and profit immensely. Those who think themselves suited should present themselves at the coordinates included in this message. Come prepared. Kavos had to know this would be intercepted. He isn't afraid of anything, is he? Don't worry, sir. He'll learn to fear the justice of the Republic soon enough. The coordinates are on Tatooine, sir. I recommend we move quickly before Kavos can find a suitable lieutenant and move on. For the Republic! Target neutralized, sir. Lord Kavos will threaten the innocent people of the galaxy no longer. As expected, his overconfidence made his defeat all but certain. I simply took my place among the scum, hoping to gain his favor, then struck at the first opportunity. I bet that got you a lot closer than you would have otherwise. Precisely, sir. Lord Kavos decided that a fight to the death would determine his champion, every man for himself. Once the fighting began, I closed in. I started by grabbing a Nikto thug who was making liberal use of a flamethrower. With pinpoint accuracy, I hurled him toward Kavos, whose robes were instantly ignited. I imagine that kept Kavos' attention pretty well. It did, sir. Although Kavos was thoroughly distracted, I remained cautious and did not engage him directly. Instead, I targeted a nearby Mandalorian using a jetpack. 
As soon as his velocity and flight vector were pointed correctly, I opened fire with my cannons, sending him barreling into cobbles and the Nikto. The explosion did the rest. It sounds like you carried out your mission with exceptional skill. Thank you very much, sir. This was a critical victory. Our comrades are sure to take heart when they hear that a monster like Kavos has been laid low. I'll begin searching for a new target at once. This is just too good. I get slick equipment, a nice ride, and a ready supply of every explosive there ever was. I think this will do, boss. I try to run a good outfit. I'm sure you do. Trust me. You keep me happy, I'll keep you happy. Now let's go put some of this fancy equipment to use. All right, boss. Time to talk some business. Bunch of credits just came through from a weapons deal I had going on Balmora. Another weapons deal I had going back on Balmora. This is your cut. I could get used to this. You're the new boss. You get a cut no matter what. Let me tell you, boss. This is not where I figured I'd end up when I enlisted. Growing up on Nar Shadda, you only join the army for the free ticket out of there. Don't forget the free guns, free armor, free food. True enough. It's a sweet deal if you've got nothing. Before the army, I ran with whatever gang had the loosest boss and the most spare detonite. Had a long list of enemies. Even street trash take it bad when you blow up their buddies. Ever wish you could go home again? I've been back to that slime hole plenty of times. The heat's more than died down now. Joining up turned out to be the best idea I ever had. A lot more fun than running with those scrubs back on the streets. Most of the time. Sounds like everything worked out for you. It's why I've got this sunny disposition. Hey, enough reminiscing. Let's go trash something, huh? Hey, come here. This is going to be hilarious. Remember the credits I brought in from that old weapon sale? Those were from my second buyer. The first guy I lined up wasn't offering as much as I liked, so I bailed on him. Cheap jerk is all worked up that I sold him to someone else. He's trying to put a scare in me. How can I help exactly? Just play along. Guy's name is Red Hand Magarin. He runs a few guns. Thinks he's a real tough guy. Hey there, Red. My guns, Vic. Where are they? Well, I was having a chat with my new boss, the commander of Havoc Squad, and we decided to go with another buyer. If that's the commander of Havoc Squad, I'm the king of Alderaan. I want those guns, Vic. I assure you, I'm Havoc Squad CEO. I hope Vic's paying you good to get on my nerves. When you back out on a deal with me, there are consequences, Vic. I'll be seeing you. Uh-oh. Consequences. I hope I don't lose any sleep. We got bigger things to worry about than some arms dealer. Yeah, yeah. Captain, I've just been contacted by Colonel Fieros. I understand the operation was a complete success. Breaking the Umbra Code will have far-reaching effects. The Republic has gained an advantage today that could change the course of the entire conflict. Well done. It's an honor to serve, as always, sir. Sergeant Yun, please step forward. <laughs> Sergeant Yun, it is my pleasure to officially confirm your transfer to Republic Army Special Forces Squad Number 326, codename Havoc Squad. We're glad to have you on the team, Sergeant. 
With Sergeant Yun, Havoc Squad is ready to begin the operation against the Gauntlet Superweapon. Return to Coruscant immediately, Captain. We have a lot to discuss. Garza out. So, turns out Red Hand Magarin isn't just an idiot with a chip on his shoulder about that weapons deal I bailed on. He's also an idiot with a lot of bounty hunters on call. He's put a price on my head. I need to take care of it. Do whatever you need to do, Vic. Magarin's office is on Nar Shada. I still know a few people there who don't want me dead, so this shouldn't take long. Once Magarin's settled, we'll be good to go again. The faster this is dealt with, the better. Couldn't agree more. Be back later. Hey boss, everything's cleared up. No more price on my head. Well, no one to pay it anyway. I'm glad you're in the clear now. You and me both. I found some of Magarin's files while I was picking through the wreckage afterward. Figured they might come in handy. I'll let you know if I spot anything interesting. Screen. You got this. Heading. 
vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
Good luck. I've got your back. On your feet, soldiers. Lieutenant Jorgen? What are you doing here? I'm getting you out of here. Thought we'd have been out of here weeks ago. Who's this? I'm the commander of Havoc Squad. Havoc Squad? It's an honor, sir. Okay, enough boot kissing. I want answers, Torv. For starters, how'd you get yourselves captured? It's all there in our mission outline. Didn't Zane brief you? Zane? As in senior agent Zane? Man's been nothing but trouble for us. So he didn't... Oh, then I'm afraid I can't say anything more. SIS orders. We just saved your life. Now start talking. But we... Okay, look, we let ourselves get caught. Part of some top-secret SIS op. They implanted tracking devices in us. Plan was to follow us through Imperial space, find out where the imps ship their POWs, and then come rescue us. It looks like someone forgot to follow through with that last part. Nobody anticipated the imps would split us up, send us to labor details. Surprised the SIS didn't spring us then. Typical SIS. Should've known better than to trust those spooks. Too good an opportunity. You know how many troops we have in those camps. What if the Imperials had executed you? Things wouldn't have been so bad if the SIS had held up their end of the plan. Got that right. A good soldier never leaves a man behind. We'll have it out with the SIS later. For now, just sit tight. I'll call for an evac, get you boys home. Well, they're off. The SIS better have a good reason for leaving those men behind. Zane is involved. Maybe he wants to enlighten us. I'm sure he'll have something to say about this rescue op of ours. Anyway, we've done all we can for now. I'll see about getting the rest of those coordinates decrypted.
Understood. Goodbye then. Greetings, my friend. Let us see what the galaxy has to offer us today. Back to the cantina then. Farewell. Captain, come in. You may stand at ease. I understand you've succeeded in bringing Havoc Squad up to full strength, Captain. Congratulations. My squad and I are very proud to be a part of this operation, sir. I think I speak for everyone when I say we're glad to have Havoc involved. General Garza, why don't you begin? Certainly. As you know, Captain, the Gauntlet superweapon allows the Empire to target and destroy any ship traveling through hyperspace. This capability, if put to use would give the Empire an insurmountable advantage. It also makes an attack on the Gauntlet itself extremely difficult. Fortunately, the technical data you helped retrieve allowed us to determine a safe approach pattern that will get our forces within striking range. Can you explain this approach pattern, sir? We've run the numbers from the Imperial's readouts and determined the Gauntlet's minimum time to acquire and lock onto a target. Your ship and those of my battle group will approach the Gauntlet by making numerous short hyperjumps always remaining below the minimum lock-on time. Short, repeated hyperjumps are very inefficient. Once we're in, our warships won't have enough fuel to return. Total victory will be our only option. What's my squad's objective once we're in the target area? When the attack begins, Lieutenant Coria's safecrackers will immediately disable the planetary shield generator that protects the gauntlet, allowing Havoc Squad to board it. Once you're aboard, begin the demolition operation. Sergeant Yun will help you bypass the security seals on the weapon's inner core. Specialist Vic will then go into the core with you and plant explosives at key weak points, ensuring the gauntlet's total destruction. How should I deploy my other squad members? During your demolition operations, two Havoc squad members of your choice 
will assault the Gauntlets Bridge and download all data from the weapons computers. Unassigned squad members will provide mobile backup to the rest of the team as needed. As soon as your objectives are complete, evacuate the Gauntlet immediately. Understood? I'll assign the bridge assault team before the attack begins. We cannot overemphasize the importance of this mission, Captain. The future security of the Galactic Republic hinges on the destruction of this single weapon. You and your team are no strangers to situations like this. You've faced incredible odds before, and overcome them with skill and determination. If anyone can lead the charge in this battle and see us through to victory, it's Havoc Squad. Your Republic is counting on you. Move out. For the Republic. Yeah! <laughs>
helping out. Fuckin' on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that Lookin' up, open the park, pot, pot